Hello everyone, it's Jason with My RV Inspection and today I'm going to show you just how good those dealership PDIs are. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, today I am inspecting a two-year-old RV it's a class A gas two years old the owner of this RV bought it uh, had some issues called me up to get an inspection so he could take it in one time for warranty issues and get them all repaired at the same time now he's the second owner so this has been sold by two dealerships two not one two dealerships have sold this RV and their PDI is so amazing that they do exactly what we do that they miss something very important and very very simple so let's go take a look at the CO detector right here in the bedroom this is our CO detector now I opened it because I was going to pull this off the ceiling look at the data plate but as soon as I saw what I saw I had to show you all this right here is a piece of plastic and what it does is prevent the battery from making contact that means CO detector isn't working it's not draining the battery while the RV is for sale been sold twice. It's been PDI'd twice. I would think that would be something they would look for when they were doing a PDI, but they didn't. Now, I haven't even opened the smoke detector yet. Let's see what's there. Might be right, might not be. I don't know. I'm going to be just as surprised as you. So I just opened it, and that plastic piece is not there. So they caught it on the smoke detector, and they didn't catch it on the CO detector. CO is odorless, and enough of it can suffocate you. It's very important that that's working, especially since generator exhaust comes right out below this back window and while it shouldn't get CO in there that doesn't mean it won't either way it needs to work dealership PDI'd it not once well I don't know if it was the same dealership so we'll say it was either one dealership that missed it twice or was two dealerships that missed it once. So, with your weekly one reason to get an RV inspection, you know, something you can look for after you purchase the RV, just check and make sure those little plastic tabs are pulled out of the batteries so all your detectors are working. You should be checking those regularly anyways, but, I mean, what can I say? Dealerships say you don't need an inspection because we do one and then a certified inspectors tell you you need one because they don't do what we do and that's proof so with your weekly one reason to get an rv inspection it's jason and you have a nice day